Let's go ahead and do a review of WordToon. Now WordToon is described to be an AI powered writing companion. And before we get into the review, I want to shout out Mr. Wanted000 for recommending me do a review of WordToon. If you have any tools or softwares that you think would be worthwhile to do a review on, let me know in the comments below and I'll be sure to get to it. After giving WordToon a try, I think it may be a worthwhile tool for us to do a review on. And WordToon already got some praise as being one of the hottest apps of the year by both Chrome and Amplitude. So let's go ahead and take a look at this tool and its features and see how you can utilize it in your content creation. Cool thing about WordToon is that it's also a Chrome extension. You can head over to the Chrome web store and you'd be able to add this onto your browser. And as you can see, it's very well reviewed with over 2,000 five star reviews and used by over 1 million users. So we can see that a lot of people love using this Google Chrome extension. So let's go ahead and see what the hype is all about and try it out for ourselves. And once you go ahead and create an account and add it onto your Google Chrome, when you're getting set up on WordToon, it'll actually show you how the tool works. So in order to use WordToon, you wanna go ahead and highlight the sentence, go ahead and click the W icon. And as you can see, this is going to show us some options for content that's been rewritten. Now let's go ahead and start using our own content and see what sort of output we can expect when using WordToon. And just before we get into our own examples, this is the free version. So the free version will give you 10 rewrites per day. But if this is too limited for you, you can go ahead and get the premium version, which would be $9.99 per month and gives you unlimited rewrites. And you also have access to a couple other features included in the premium plan. But let's go ahead and use the free version to figure out whether or not we can get quality output before going ahead and investing in this tool. And once you're setting up your word to an account, you can go ahead and select wherever you're writing your content. And it actually integrates with LinkedIn, Google Docs, Gmail, Twitter, WhatsApp web, Slack web, Outlook web, and Facebook. So wherever you're creating your content, you can go ahead and use WordToon right in that place. So I've went ahead and opened a Google Doc with some content on it. And on the right hand side, we can see the WordToon icon. Now this is where we'd be able to start rewriting and using the features included in WordToon. So all you want to do is go ahead and highlight the content in which you would like to use WordToon on. And again, if you want to go ahead and do a rewrite, as we can see, it automatically does the rewriting for us. So all we have to do is go ahead and read through these um, outputs and see whichever one we like the best. So the original sentence goes like this. You've spent hours finding the perfect low competition, high volume, long tail keyword to write about. And this is the content that we got back from WordToon. You have spent hours researching the perfect long tail keyword with low competition and high volume to write about. To write about, you spent hours finding, okay, that's not that great. To write about the perfect long tail keyword, you spent hours researching low competition, high volume keywords. Okay, so that output is not too bad. You spent hours researching a low competition, high volume, long tail keyword. The perfect low competition, high volume, long tail keyword for your article took hours to research. Your time was spent hours searching for the perfect long tail keyword. After hours of searching, you finally found the perfect long tail keyword with low competition and high volume. Okay, so again, all of these are pretty good. And again, I like that you have a variety of content in which you can choose from. A lot of rewritten content sometimes just sort of changes the word around and doesn't really give context. So, so I can already tell that this is a lot better than some of the other um, content rewriters in the market. So unfortunately on the free plan, you really go through the limits very quickly. And I don't really like that because you're not really even selecting that output. We All we did was highlighted it and try to get some output. We actually didn't even use it. So once it pops up those options, those count towards your limit um, for the day if you're on the free plan. So I'm going to go ahead and upgrade to the premium plan so we can really see how powerful and useful this tool may be. So I've went ahead and I've upgraded to the premium plan. Let's go ahead and start using it again and see um, sort of the full functionality of a WordToon. So you have the option of using the Chrome extension or you can use the built-in editor that they have on the WordToon website. So again, I'm using the same content here and I'm going to go ahead and see if we can um, get some rewritten content and take a look at the casual tones and the shorten and the expanding functions available on the premium account. 
So again, we see that there is a limit for the amount of words that they will rewrite, and it seems as though they do sentence by sentence. So you can't really rewrite a whole paragraph as yet, but um, you can start by doing sentences by sentences. And on the right hand side, I like that we get some recommendations. Um, so we get some recommendations for sort of better words in which we can use or more fluent alternatives to the writing in which we have. Now let's go ahead and try the, um, the expand function. So as we can see, it does sentence by sentences. And when you're going through the outputs, the pink or purple um, sort of letters are the words in which um, WordTune has added in. So you can take a look at this and see what they've added in. So for instance, they added in at all to expand this from those blogs um, and a couple other sentences here. Now let's go ahead and try the shorten function. And again, it's going to shorten the amount of words in which we have within a sentence. So I had the same problem posting high quality blogs. I had the same problem posting high quality blogs, but not getting traffic while well, I had the same problem posting high quality blogs. Okay, as we can see, these sentences are a little bit shorter in which we had. And if you want to go ahead to the next sentence, just go ahead and click the arrow and it'll take you to the next sentence. And again, we can go ahead and change the form. Um, we can go ahead and rewrite or shorten or expand that. So I've went ahead and changed this to casual. As we can see, the original content went like this. And while most people will tell you just to wait for Google to start ranking your blogs, most people will tell you to wait for Google, while most people will tell you just to wait, so on and so forth. So again, I don't know how impressed I am by WordTune. It seems as though they're adding in a couple sentences or a couple words, not really changing the overall content. So I'm a little bit underwhelmed because it's a very, very well designed and very easy to use tool with a lot of reviews. But again, when I start to use um, some of the functions, I, I'm not really impressed or blown away by the content in which we're getting back. We can easily get this sort of content from any of the other AI copywriters in the market. Now, another feature included in WordTune is called WordTune Read. And essentially what this does is you're able to enter a text or a URL and WordTune will give you a summary of the text uh, from that URL or the content in which you paste in. So if you have to do a lot of reading or if you wanna get some digestible information about a topic, you can go ahead and paste that content and you'll be able to get a summary from WordTune. So let's go ahead and grab a blog post from Forbes, which talks about the best cryptocurrencies to buy. And I'm going to go ahead back to WordTune Read. Now let's go ahead and paste this and see how good the WordTune Read feature is. Left hand side here, we have the blog post. And on the right hand side, if we go over, we can see that it's pulled some of the most important information and added it in a very succinct and easy to read um, sort of blocks on the right hand side here. So there's thousands of different cryptocurrencies, but these are the top 10 Bitcoin, Ethereum, Tether, <clears throat> Terra, Cardano, so on and so forth. So this is actually a really good way in which you can get an idea of what this blog post is talking about rather than going through and reading that full blog post. So I actually really like this feature. So they've done a really good job on the word to read aspect. And if you're creating a blog post in which you need to do a lot of research, then you can go ahead and use this feature um, to find some information and also go ahead and if you wanted to, you can copy that, paste it into your blog post, rewrite the content, or just use it for inspiration in terms of what sort of content you want to include within your blog post. So overall, I think there's some advantages and some disadvantages to WordTune. I don't think it's a full AI copywriting software. I think it's more of a copy editing software in which you can use to edit and sort of spice up some of the content in which you've already created. But I can't help but think that you can get a better AI copywriter for a much lower pricing, which will have all of the features included in WordTune and even give you additional features for a much lower price point when compared to WordTune. In order to upgrade to a premium account, it would be $10 per month, but that's billed for the year, so it would be $119 for the year. If not, it would be, I believe, $24.99 per month. Now that's pretty steep for just a copy editing tool, which allows you to rewrite, to expand, to shorten, or to change the tone of your content. As I mentioned earlier, you can go out and grab a lifetime deal for Word Hero or Write Cream, 
which are AI copywriters which have all of the features included in WordToon and even has some more additional features for much less when compared to the pricing that WordToon is charging. As of now, I would recommend WordToon if you don't have another AI copywriter and you only need it to do some copy editing, then I would go ahead and get the premium plan and your best bang for your buck would be getting the yearly plan because that'll save you some money in the long run. I'll leave a link in the description below this video for some of my favorite AI copywriters in the market. If you like this video, then give us a big thumbs up and subscribe for more videos in the near future. Until next time, stay well.